I just thought I'd film this quickly because I, th I thought it was interesting. I'm just testing out these um, Orcus and Eons pedals that I built. Um, but this one, I'm having a problem with it. Um, and that is the, uh, the fuzz side, uh, the Orcus side. Okay. Cuts out when the knob gets to there. It comes back in again. So what I've got is a faulty pot here. Octave works fine. So what that means is I need to do a quick pain in the bum job of replacing this potentiometer, which is a real pain in the bum because it's soldered into the, the circuit board. But uh, I'll go and do that quickly and then I'll come back and it should work. So I'm just gonna quickly remove this knob here, open the back and <clears throat> disassemble it. And then we'll have a look at the pot. So I need to desolder this pot here. This is where the pot connects to the circuit board. So I'm going to use this trusty tool, solder sucker, to try and remove as much solder as I can without damaging the circuit board. Right, this bit's proving difficult to get it out of. It's the ground, the ground lug. I'm just going to add a bit more. See if I can get do it that way. Oh. Okay, this isn't going to be as simple as I thought because I can't very easily remove that pot from the board. So I'm going to try and take it out, which is another pain in the bum because it means I'm going to have to remove this jack, which is connected to this jack. So I'm going to try and have to do this um, as carefully as possible. Just very carefully undo that because I do not want to scratch the paint job. So I'm going to have to bend my nice little neat ground connection there, which is a shame, but let's see if this helps. It's free. Just about. So what I've had to do here was actually snip the potentiometer off. Um, found this the easy way to do it. If I had some solder wick, desoldering braid, I might have been able to do it easier. But So what I'm gonna do now is I've left the legs in the other side of the circuit board. So all I'm gonna do is just heat them up this side and pull them out. Got them. I'm just going to quickly test the new pot that I'm going to put in there that it's got smooth resistance all the way just make sure I'm sure it's fine I've, I've never had a 40 well I've been pretty lucky I guess okay so right 
Yeah, so I've never had a 41 before like that. Out of all the pedals I've made, hundreds. So, yeah, what's that? 5.1, yeah, it's a 500k pot. So it was pretty smooth there, that's fine. Check again. Yep, we're all good. So now we just got to put this back together. rotation washer there that I was put on. So unfortunately we're left with this little kink in this nice little neat, otherwise neat join there, but there we go. Could try and massage it out a little bit. See if that helps. Doesn't affect the pedal at all, it's just not as visually pleasing. So now to solder these potentiometer connections up again. Get that knob back on, and we'll test it out. Right, so let's see if that's made a difference. <laughs> 